Hey, hey. Spring Lafay. Simply Tara. Okay, this is going to be one for Aquarius. Good morning to you all. It's really early. And um, let's see what we get in the way of a special message. I'm feeling um, a Libra reading message. Also, Five of Cups. Options, options. Thoughts. Past. Past thoughts. Plus, someone does have options, it feels like. You have options in the way of love. Past thoughts. Someone's thinking about all the options they had in the past, all the people that um, someone had a lot of options, they had a lot of choices in love. And it feels like they, you know, they chose some. And they ended up with spilt cups. But they have reached a point in their life, it feels like, where they're the empress. They're taking on the empress energy now. They have learned so much. And they've learned to love themselves. And someone, you know, I mean, they're having regrets. Yeah, they're having regrets. Um, even some frustration as they look back on all these choices they had in love. But it's like they've came to this spot where they feel a sense of contentment. They're feeling, you know, a sense of fulfillment with with what with all of with the choices they have made in their life. They're they're feeling contentment. They're feeling a sense of fulfillment. Um it's like 
they're feeling a sense of, of happiness today, it feels like, that they may have not have felt yesterday. This is, it's, so far that's very positive. It's like someone was not feeling quite the empress yesterday. As they thought about, you know, a relationship that, or for some of you, a marriage, some of you, just a commitment, for some of you, you know, this was a partnership of some sort, um, you know, being all in their head about it. like they're feeling a sense of commitment. Yeah, being all in their head about being lonely. They were lonely. It feels like someone was lonely yesterday. Someone was more in their head about this. But now, you know, it's like they've been looking back on it and they're feeling a sense of fulfillment, a sense of completion, you know, um, in their life. You know, they've been, it's like they've been feeling a sense of um, being left alone. A sense of, you know, carrying this within them about this. You know, not having their love accepted, not having someone give them love back. You know, it, it was like they, it's okay, keeping themselves stuck and not even realizing it, not even, you know, being positive and feeling, you know, and feeling like everything was fine, and it's like they've seen today that they've been caring more about this than they knew. It, it, it's like it was hidden within. Yes. It is. It's like this person is. You know. They really. It, it seemed as if they had. Dropped this completely. But. You know. It's like it had. Uh, kind of. Hidden itself within them. And it had to come out. And now. You know. It's like they're. They're feeling a sense of, of contentment and fulfillment that they seen this, that, that they had this moment. That's good. You know, it's like um, they, they're loosening these ties that, that this, this relationship or, or connection or whatever it is means to you, they're, they're loosening them ties that's around them and these mental you know burdens from within there it's like they're moving to calmer water they're leaving them they're, they're feeling more content they're leaving them behind it's like um, you know there were They've been working, whoever this is, they've been working on themselves. And it feels like they, they worked on themselves more than they even know. And sometimes, you know, something happened to... I'm seeing eyes. So something happened to open their eyes, it feels like, and I keep getting yesterday. Whatever that means to someone. It's like something was said or something they read or something they heard. It opened their eyes and it's like it brought all this came forward to them that had been kind of tucked away. Nice and neat. I'm seeing like a, 
a little box tucked away it's nice and neat yeah it had been tucked away nice and neat this hat in within within them you know this person's really been working on themselves I feel like this person is more gifted than they know they have more gifts than they know and um, for some of you that's spiritual gifts for others of you that is gifts in your life you know that that you've not you've not seen and that could be you know family that could be um, things that you're blessed with material item, items that you're blessed with but they've been working on themselves and it feels like you know they're going to continue to to I just seen the magician they're going to continue to manifest what they want. They're going to continue to to nourish these seeds that they're planting for themselves. You know, they're going to continue to spread love, to um, spread happiness, and and a feeling of um, cheer to others. It feels like, as well as themselves. Positive. I'm getting positive. And I can't get, I keep looking at the smile, the smile, smiling, smiling, brightens a day. Yes. A smile will brighten your day. Yes. You know, because it feels like this person, they're having their new beginning. You know, and it feels like. They're standing on their own. Does that mean that they don't want a beginning with someone else? No. I feel like this person does. But they're not going to settle for just whatever. I feel like they want they want someone vibrating at their vibration. They want some because they've been working on themselves. You know, it's hard work. They want someone that um, is like-minded feels like and it feels like they're cutting they're cutting away what doesn't matter and it also feels like they've seen the truth um it's like something was there was a truth came out and i feel like for many it's you know the fact that someone felt like they was over something and that you know they were this they were as positive as they could be they were completely over this they they had learned all their lessons and it's like something triggered them to see something and it's like waking up and realizing oh my goodness I didn't even I didn't even realize that you know that's called learning more and more daily that's like I have actually been, you know, that that's that's been me for the past year, you know, feeling like, oh my goodness, you know, I'm just, yeah, and then wake up one morning and it's like, just get hit with something like, oh, dang, well, I learned something new, you know, I got this, I got something new, and it's like, thinking I already had had it if that makes sense spiritually and and about myself yeah I hope that makes sense but yeah it's like someone got the truth about something in their life I feel like whomever, you know, hmm, hmm. well, this is about the Queen of Pentacles. This has a feeling of, um, you know, looking, you see how she's looking at that coin? It's like looking at one's life and really assessing and and nurturing the parts that need nurturing
pulling out the wisdom that needs to be pulled out, you know, and for some of you this is the other person and you know you finally see that truth but for some of you this is here you know it's about nurturing yourself nurturing what needs to be nurtured um, <clears throat> you know and in a sense you know balancing everything out and then for others you know this is is seeing the truth about this person and seeing that it was not balanced it was not equal there were, was an imbalance in this connection and it was a you know union of some sort whether that's marriage um, relationship you know strong connection You know, someone is, they're at that point making that, these big decisions about their life, it feels like, you know, and it feels like this is someone who looked at time, they looked at the time, they, you know, and, and for me, what I'm getting is, um, at, as like someone's age, like, you know, it's like, options wasted you know it's like spending so much time on somebody and then it's like losing that time but I feel like that you know for some of you you're seeing that it's never too late to manifest what you want into your life to have what you want into your life it's never too late to find you know that happiness um, that dream job or that um, going back to school to be better or to find that true love who will you know the one that is like-minded the one that vibrates where you keep this balance balance you know and um, it's never too late for these things you know it feels like this person will continue to grow to um, work within work within them on themselves to grow to learn for some of some of you, this is to, you know, spiritually awaken your gifts and go forward with them. For some of you, this is, you know, really taking the time to think about what you want and then going forward towards your blessings. your gifts for many for others it's just going towards your blessing you know making choices that benefit you for your higher good and going towards an abundance and do does the, you know I'm not feeling just all about pentacles in, in abundance I'm feeling what you know what feels like wealth well you can have a wealth of knowledge. You can have a, a wealth in, you know, bringing forth your spiritual gifts, you know, just feeling that wealth and being able to help people. Um, you know, it can be about a wealth in abundance, you know, as far as materialistic. You know, it can be a wealth of love for yourself, love for your fellow people. Um, helping other people in a wealth. Yes, I mean, that's what I'm getting. You know, letting 
someone is letting the divine guide them, they are, yeah, I'm drawn to the sun, which is a crown. They are following, following, excuse me, following their path. They are, um, they are planning to keep themselves as balanced as possible. You know, will they, will this person, you know, become unbalanced? That's always, you know, that, that can happen. That can happen, but, you know, I feel like, this person or these people are determined to seek for their higher good and, you know, feel, try to feel when they are in that state of imbalance. And someone... Someone would like to do traveling of some sort. Someone would like to travel of some sort. Someone would like to... There's someone... I'm seeing the world, but... It's like... I don't know if you see the dot. It's like I'm seeing that as a person. There's someone that someone would like to meet. There's... This, that's not going to be for everyone, but there's someone that would like to travel to meet someone. It's like, i just seen a spark. It's like a spark. Now, that can mean different things for different people. This is someone at a distance. And it's like there's this spark. Just a spark. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. It's like a little... It's like a spark and a little flame just... For others of you that, you know, it's like... Looking to the world, looking out, making decisions about what you want in your... You know, what you want in the future in your life. It's like being in the here and now. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, also looking out a little bit in order to, I don't want to say because I don't feel like, well, for some of you this is planning. For others of you it's just kind of like someone likes to see a little bit ahead whomever that's for. Continuing to work hard. Now that is in on yourself. That is also in, you know, what you do as far as working. Uh, for some of you, that is humanitarian work. For others of you, someone is working hard to try to bring happiness. It feels like for some to the people around them, for others to the world. And I am feeling such a strength in this person. Such a strength. And I'm drawn to this card. This is this is a strength card that my son made me. And it's this is plastic. See the back? It's very beautiful but you see how courageous this line is someone has a strength within them I can feel it they may that they have that strength Who are wanting to come out. You know, that's like, um, oh, we got the star on the bottom. Knight of Cups. It's like, okay, 
we've got this nine of swords and I'm drawn to it for some reason. You know, we can, it's like we can, we can have this stuff within us and not even realize it that, you know, we can be thinking positive and not even realize that inside we have this pain going on associated with the past or things that are bothering us but we're not we're not noticing it we're not thinking it we're not having it come forth so we're not realizing it till someone says something or does something or um you know it's kind of like when you meet a soul you know we have plenty of soulmates but sometimes when you meet a soulmate you know for instance there's this connection and you know, they may be brought into your life just for a reason. That reason could be to leave you with a bad lesson uh, that you needed to learn. Or it could be to spark something that helps us to move forward. So, yeah, I'm drawn to that. And I can't turn these yet because I'm still I'm drawn to that too. Nine of Cups, the Hermit, Knight of Wands. You know, this is the Wish card. I am feeling um, <laughs> contentment, balance, a sense of feeling success and victory over something that brings someone much personal satisf satisfaction it feels like um, I feel positive positive it's like the hermit it's like someone has you know Hmm. It's like a sh someone has shed a lot. It's like someone's been enlightened. And I'm getting that, you know, it's kind of like finding answers. You know, that I feel like has to do with that sort of truth. Wisdom. Someone's had a sense of like, um, mm, awareness about self, about themselves. Or not of wands. It's like someone's there's okay, for some of you there was you have received some sort of message that has brought forth some sort of like awareness of self or self awareness. For others of you, you may be going to get a message, and for some of you. Either you or the person, is, it's like someone is may extend an invitation to someone. There's a feeling of um, ease about knowing how to approach something. Uh, there's, I, I'm feeling... A sense of en enthusiasm. I'm getting the word grace. Yes. But I'm also getting the word romance. Yes. For So for some of you, there's a feeling of romance. 
I was seeing a spark again. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, and we've got the star card. Oh, see, I'm seeing a spark, so. We got that star card. For some of you, this is about, um, loving yourself. For others of you, well, there is a spark for someone else coming into your life. It feels like a connection. For others of you, you know, I, I feel like I'm not feeling this card again. You know, we done had this card, Nine of Swords. I'm not feeling it. Um, that's good. That's a good thing. Yeah, I'm, it's, a, it's a sense, it's a feeling of um, self-love. You know, this is wish. This is wish. This is wish. Then we've got two aces. That's, you know, wish. It's, it's like someone, you know, they have, they've had some hard times in their life. Many have, it feels like. But it feels like that they have, look, this is someone that's humbled themselves. And they are balancing. But yet they are... It feels like helping others to grow. You know, trying to help others to grow. See how she is watering, which to me looks like a rose. To help it to grow. I love roses. Roses are gorgeous. They they are they are so beautiful. They to me they're Roses are a sense of life, and I know they're alive, that's not what I mean. You know, in life we have beautiful moments, we have hurtful moments. You know, we have these moments where um, things just feel alive. A rose, you know, sometimes it's, it's only green, but it's beautiful and alive. And then, you know, the beauty with the roses and it's like the hurt, you know, when those thorns, you know, penetrate into your skin. Just saying, I mean, that's, yeah. Roses and orchids. Oh my goodness, I love them. But yes, the stars. And this person, well, not this person, these people, many of you, not all, but many of you have really, like I said, you, 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 you've been working on yourself and you have reached to the heavens. Um, you know, it's beautiful. It's really a beautiful reading. Really, really is. I love it. So we're going to take. We're going to take. We're going to see if they'll give us a romance angel. I have been so tired for the last couple of days. I'm not sure, but just wore out. Oh, they throwed that one. Someone feeling some passion for someone. Oh my goodness, you know passion. Yeah. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Someone's got some passion going on. Romantic feelings. What did I tell you about romance over here? There's that spark back. <laughs> yes. Your feelings are real and worth exploring beautiful oh my goodness it's such a lovely reading it has such a good feel to it not draining it at all now I'm drawn to the bottom for some of you this is a soulmate yes this is your soulmate and I feel it so for some of you 
like I said, this, you know, what I was telling you about soulmates a while ago, sometimes someone will come into our lives and it's like there's something about us that, you know, for many of us, it'll be something that we've been trying to work on. And then for others of us, it's something we never realized. And bam, you don't even have to meet this person. I mean, you can just be in contact with them. It's like, then, you know, I don't even know how to explain that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, but yeah. But soulmates are not always, you know, meant to stay in our lives. Uh, some are meant, you know, to just come into our lives for a brief moment. Now, there, you know, I'm not saying that you can't have, like, a relationship with a soulmate because you can. But some are not meant for that. And then, you know, you can have soulmates who are friends. Your soulmate could be your family member. There's many soulmates. Now I see all these posts and stuff like on social media about, oh, my soulmate got stuck in a tree. <laughs> oh my goodness, I think back when, <laughs> yeah, I did, I've seen that. And um, i seen one something or another about Temple. Not sure, but it was funny. People searching for love, you know. I feel I'm right. I'm right. Oh, okay. I'm being urged to mention about cross watchers, actually. Yes, this may be for a cross watcher. This reading, or for cross watchers. That's what I'm getting, yes. I'm actually seeing a cross, and I'm seeing a watch. Cross watchers, and I feel a sense that's it. I know there's more cards. Okay. Turquoise, obsidian, ooh, beautiful, fluorite, topaz, and diamond. Beautiful cards, beautiful. Okay, hopefully you can see all of those, yep. Yeah. Okay, turquoise. We're going to go there first. Remember, you are born of the heavens and nourished by the sacred waters of life. Turquoise. Obsidian. Obsidian. The message of obsidian is to look within. And to look to the earth for your answers and insights. Beautiful. Fluorite. 
Look within your heart and you will find true peace of mind. See, it's like something triggers someone to look within. And that's where they find something. Topaz. Be spontaneous and joyful and know you are a spark of God. That's beautiful. Diamond. Within you shines a spark of brilliant light of creation. It's beautiful. And someone is gifted and it feels like they're, you know, they're going to, some of them are awakening to their gifts. Some are going to start. And that's, you know, like I said, this may be due to a soulmate con connection having something to do with that so that is what I have and I hope you have an awesome awesome day and there may be more readings today um, possibly for Aquarius I am feeling um, several other signs and please do give this a thumbs up so that you two will move it along and have an awesome day bye